Bracket they howa, bracket they howa shy, bracket they howa, bracket they howa shy, bracket they howa, bracket they howa shy. Call halal lie, Yahweh Bashi Bihawa Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is a video I came across um, called for an uprising. And, um, you know, it just proves. The fact that Esau is willing to stage a so-called alien attack to unite, well, to, to strive to unite everyone on his side against, really, the Lord. We all, we, well, let me say we all, Salakia, us of the knowing, those of the whole four elect, all right, that strive in his ministry with faith toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, we understand that through prophecies, through his prophecies that he said he was going to come you know well one of his prophecies where he said that he was going to come back and return all right and the way that he's coming this time the attitude and the manner that he's coming is not like he was when he was here two thousand years ago and he gave up his life you know for the israelites in particular the elect of the uh israelites all right now he's coming back to do what to take this earth okay and to set up his kingdom here in the planet, planet Earth. And who's ruling right now is Esau. All right, so, you know, um, call for an uprising. He pieced this together, you know, which is just edification, more proof, we all know, but just more proof, all right, that they're staging a new world order, all right, for that all, all of us to come as one. And we understand by that one is also um, them forcing the mark of the beast. And the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. You know, Esau, Esau Edom, the house of Esau Edom, which, you know, starts with the elites, the Rothschilds, all right, those international banking families, the 1%, you want to call it, that rule the world. You know, their, their agenda is to uh, sit in the seat of the Most High. You know, they want to be worshipped as if they was the Heavenly Father and the Creator, and they're not. And this is why they're going on to creating you know, this transhuman type world, you know, because they want to be the father of it because Esau is a bastard, man. All right. And the most High said there is no repentance for Esau. But guess what? The Lord is a righteous power and he's not forgetful of the promises and covenants that he said unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. All right. And especially the blessing of Jacob, because Jacob blessing is to, is to have the fatness of the earth and to have all other nations under him. Meaning Jacob was going to rule the earth. And we was going to have what? Everlasting salvation, man. Okay? So, I'm going to read here the first New World Order. And I'm just going to, just going to swim. Uh, not swim through it. I'm going to try to get through it quick. And uh, play some of this video. I might not play the whole video. You could go back and watch the video yourself. But I just want to tackle a couple of points, if the Lord willing. And allow me to edify. So, this is Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 1. It says, and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Sinar and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, go to, let us make brick and burn them throughly. And they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar. And they said, go. Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. All right. So there you go. You know, just uh, just a quick breakdown. You know, they wanted to build a tower so that they could never be flooded again, because remind you, you know, this is after the flood, you know. And, and uh, you know, you got these nations banding together because they don't want the Most High ever to be able to, you know, flood them, kill them off. And that's wicked, man. All right. And then anyway, the Lord gave Noah um, the covenant and which is the rainbow, which we see after a sun shower. And that's the, the uh, promise that the Lord said he would never flood the earth again. You know. So anyway, it says they said 
one to another, go to, let us make brick, and burn them throughly, and they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto the unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. So Esau has taken this concept because he knows these scriptures, he knows that the Lord actually exists. And he also knows that this is the time wherein the highest is beginning to visit the world in which he made. All right. This is why all these things are playing out uh, biblically. All right. Um, the wars, the mark of the beast, the, I mean, the room, room of wars, the mark of the beast, sedition among men. All right. You got protests going on in the world. You got different um, uh, 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 tempests, uh, tempests, you know, going on, earthquakes. All these things are happening because this is the time we're in the highest is beginning to visit the world. So Esau took this concept and he think he can outdo the Lord because we're in modern day and the Lord have given him what? The power of technology, you know? Now it says, and they said, go and let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord Yahweh came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men build it. And the Lord Yahweh said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they began to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. All right, because it's not, it's not in us, all right, as man to be on a level or, or no, yeah, to be on a level or above our creator. Okay, let me say that again. Man, and especially you other nations, are not on a level of the Most High, nor could you be above the Most High, the Creator. So it says, And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. Is, is that not the slogan today? You know, starting with Obama. Okay, we are as one. You know, what is it on your back of your dollar bill? Normal quarter... I forgot how I said, but, you know, it means what? We are one, all right? And we're not all one. So when you're hearing this video, I'm tying this up to the video. I know it's pretty long, but I just want to get this out. You know, you see this video, you're gonna, it's going to explain, all right, um, what this is going into, the new world order, all right? So it says, um, and the Lord said, behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they began to do, and now nothing is to be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called ba uh, Babal, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord Yahweh scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. All right. So, you know, I'm going to uh, play a little bit of the video because it should explain. Do you think that it would it would unite humanity? Good point. So, so I don't know for sure, but I can tell you. Given how tribal we have all been, especially in recent years, where we are finding reasons to separate ourselves and then fight, to find life somewhere else might be the first occasion to unify Earth as a tribe of its own. Well, perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I'm sure most of you are going to get a kick out of this because I've been talking over and over about this mindset that 
the elites have had for a long time, this plan, right? And I'm not just talking about Project Bluebeam. I'm talking about, in general, the notion of life in space. And, oh, man, what's on Mars? And all of the predictive programming that we've seen through all of these movies that just are constantly showing us invasions from outer space, invasions from outer space. And then even recently, I played the clip, I've done it numerous times, of Ronald Reagan talking about how it would take an outside force to form a new world order or to, to form world peace, right? To bring upon a fake alien invasion or something along those lines to unite humanity as one. Well, everybody's favorite, <laughs> I'd like to say how I really feel about the guy, but unfortunately calling people even the slightest of names on here is bullying and hate speech, except of course if you do it to people like me. But nonetheless, Neil deGrasse Tyson, most of you are very familiar with this guy. He is one of the most, I mean, this guy, you want to talk about being full of crap. I mean, nothing that comes out of this guy's mouth is truth. Of course, he's praised by the liberals and everybody else. Of course, if you're somebody who believes in the flat earth versus the globe, you're familiar and can't stand this guy. This guy's involved in pretty much everything involving NASA. He's an astrophysicist. And here he is on Jimmy, excuse me, Stephen Colbert talking about how an outside alien invasion could be the only thing to unite humanity. And of course... Stephen knocks on wood, hoping that's the truth, and the zombies in the audience applaud, hoping that it will happen, hoping that an alien invasion will happen so that we can all be united as one. you got to be kidding me. Do you, do you think that it would, it would unite humanity? Good point. So, so I don't know for sure, but I can tell you, given how tribal we have all been, especially in recent years, where we are finding reasons to separate ourselves and then fight, To find life somewhere else might be the first occasion to unify Earth as a tribe of its own. All right, so you heard that, man. You know, that's he just basically leaking it. You know, this is how we understand also there's a project called Project Bluebeam, you know, where they could put hologram images in the heavens, you know, create like a kingdom, you know, create like an image of a ship, a man, you know, a face, you know, their plan, Esau plan knows, you know, they they know, excuse me, they know that Yahweh Shai is returning, man. And their plan is if they could stage something to get everyone involved, it will probably help them, you know, to fight off Yahweh Shai. Well, that's not going to happen, man. You know, Esau, hey, scriptures say, why is dirt and ashes proud? All right. Now, I want to read something because, you know, another thing, the Lord did never design all of us to be together. All right. He divided the nations. You know, as we read in the first new world order against the most high becoming as one, you know, the most high came down and, and gave us different languages and scattered the people. OK, because what man is not about to do is be above the creator. And this is why the Lord also chose, you know. He chose his people, which are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, all right, Hispanics, Haitians, all right, I mean, well, West Indians, you know, he chosen his people, all right, to be the gods over these other nations, man, you know, to keep order. The scriptures say the Lord is not the author of confusion, man, all right, there's no way in hell you're going to strive above the creator. That's how you know Esau, you know. Uh, is the so-called white man because who has this ability to even think or, or or power to even strive to do that Esau all right and the other nations follow like Moab which is uh, the Chinese and Ammon the Japanese all right you know you have Ishmael you have uh, you know these other nations they, they they're what the sons of men all right, now it says Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 8, it says when the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. All right. So whenever these devils are striving to bring us all as one, they're going against the Most High. All right. That's why we tell jokers when we out in the camp, they come up, they, you know, they hear about the Illuminati, they hear about this, they hear about that. We tell them hey, it's bigger than that. It's, it's bigger than uh, rappers. It's bigger than movie celebrities, man. 
this this the, the least of fighting against the heavenly father you know their goal is to be the most high you know and which jake really that can't understand because they stuck on the word illuminati which the word illuminati just means be illuminated you know these are these edomites know the truth they know that we are the the children of israel and the lord's people they know that they're the edomites that going to be according to obadiah going to be round up and burned off the earth after serving a thousand years of slavery man all right they know the uh, outcome of being an edomite all right and that's why they don't want you to talk, talk about the edomites or nor mention um the word jewish you know here on this youtube man all right they take the video down and you know try not to give so many views don't want they don't let it circulate you know generate through uh the algorithm because they hide it man all right they want their lies to keep continuing to win for them but the lord right now is exposing you edomites <laughs> you can't make it up yes let's root for uh, first of all they've been conditioned these people have been conditioned to believe that aliens exist, which is just comical, especially, like I've said over and over, the people who attack Christians and go, well, they believe in something they can't see. And they believe that aliens exist because they get a few fake photos from NASA showing you turds floating in space and fake pictures of planets and all this other crap. Now, <laughs> DeGrasse Tyson literally saying that, okay, well, an evil force... An enemy of the human race could come, and that's what it would take for us to all be united. People are like, yes! So let's have an enemy that we don't know, an unknown enemy from out there, and let's have them come attack us so we can all be united. I mean, these people are just so dumb. So dumb. And Stephen Colbert plays off of the, oh, he's a he's a big into conspiracy kind of thing, but like he's just talking about the biggest false conspiracy that there is, the UFOs and the alien crap. He talks about, oh, how our government's blocking the ISS feed or whatever it's called from uh, NASA. It's on the ISS feed. It says, previously recorded. <laughs> <laughs> what do they not want us to know, Neil Tyson? It, it is true that... If it were aliens, the first thing they'd take out is your ability to monitor the Earth. <laughs> I'm not saying it is aliens. I'm saying if aliens wanted to, like, first poke into our situation, they would make us blind and not. He's talking about the Lord. He know. They know. You know? That if, when, when the Lord, because the Lord said he comes like a thief in the night. And we know the war is going to start in the heavens first. Because they're going to get heads up before the Lord, you know, actually reach Earth. All right? And what is the Lord going to do? Yeah, yeah, this place is going to be in a frenzy, man. You know, this place is going to be on fire. All right? It's going to be anarchy, man. There ain't going to be no lights. They is going to knock out uh, Esau's um, uh, ability to use their technology. The Most High gave Esau that technology. And um, uh, it's drawing me to, um, excuse me, the spirit. Uh, let me get a quick preset real quick. You know, I read this yesterday in the lesson, but... It just keeps calling me uh, to read it again. Uh, this is Romans chapter 9, verse 13. So I'll just read it a little bit. It says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh that show of mercy. For the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, this is the point, for the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, he have mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he hardeneth, he hardeneth, and whom he will, he hardeneth. All right, so the purpose of the Lord giving you, you Edomites this technology was to, was to uh, you know, show forth the Lord's name in the earth. Because the Lord is going to take you down in a dramatic fashion, man. The world is going to know, okay, who is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad? Who is the creator and the begotten son that he sent 2,000 years ago and to lay his life down for his people, in particular the elect of his people, the Israelites. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna show you who his people is, all right? Since Esau is uh, continuing to keep lying on who God's people is and who's God for. Now they want you to stop believing in God. And most of these 
these this gen, new generation, okay, that's in the earth, these young kids, they don't really believe in God. They believe in Satan. This is the do as thou will era, the YOLO, you know, one life to live, all right? These kids don't get uh, uh, called out on their bullshit. Don't get called out on their wrongs. Today, wrong is right and right is wrong. As the scripture says in Isaiah, I believe the fifth chapter, it says they call evil good and good evil, all right? They don't want you to believe in the Most High because they want Esau, want, he needs you to help him to fight against the Lord Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, man. All right, so I'm gonna play a little bit and then I'm gonna read uh, this. I have a book, the book of Job, and I want to go into that. All right, have us see what we're up to. No, I'm not saying the aliens are doing it, I'm saying that NASA is shutting it down so we can't see the aliens. Uh you know, pretty much hinting at, oh, the government's behind this conspiracy. They're hiding aliens from us. Of course, this would be the narrative that they all would agree with. with all the conspiracies and things out there, this is the one they don't joke about with aliens, right? They joke about, you know, Pizzagate and all that other stuff. And they're like, that's just crazy stuff. They're involving kids. They joke about kids all the time and eating them. You even have Colbert cracking jokes about, uh, you know, the one, hopefully, you know, we can eat and be cannibal, you know, eat the the aliens, I mean, the sickness, but we all know what these people were talking about. And this is the common theme, right? There's always going to be repetition with these themes, the theme of uniting the world as one, right? And the, obviously we know the Antichrist is going to come in the, in the name of love and the name of peace, which is one of the deceptions that Christians just don't understand because they hear love and they think of Jesus, which is fine, which is true, because Jesus, you know, Jesus is name is not Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai, all right? Now, the world is going to see and witness this, all right, when the Lord cracked those clouds, man. You know, Christianity has did a number upon the world. Christianity has did a number of lies, you know, that people live their life believing in this, this uh, Cesare Borgia, Serapis Christus uh, guy, this, this uh, well, let me say, um, this image of the white hope Jesus Christ There's no such thing as no Jesus Christ The Lord's name is Yahweh Shai But anyway, I'm going to read here Job the 5th chapter It says, call now if there be any that will answer thee And to which of the saints will thou turn? For wrath killeth the foolish man And envy slayeth the silly one I have seen the foolish taken root but suddenly I cursed his habitation. All right, now this is the most I speaking. He says, his children are far from safety and they are crushed in the gate. Neither is there any to deliver them. Whose harvest and hungry, hung, hungry eateth up and taketh it even out of the thorns. And the robber, uh, and the robber swelleth up their substance. Although affliction cometh not forth of the dust, neither do trouble spring out of the ground. Yet man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. I will seek unto Yahweh and unto the Most High would I commit my cause, which do of great things and unsearchable marvelous things without number, whose given rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the fields. To set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. He disappointed the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. Alright, so the Most High disappointed the devices of the crafty. And in this case, who is crafty? Esau Edom. Okay? By, by pushing and forcing the, the mark of the beast when they do, you know, because that's so that they can number the people. They can they can be the God over you and they can determine whether you live or die. You know, they can have full control over your body, man. Also, by the way of them staging a, 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 a alien attack so that they can join everyone together to fight against God and the son, Yahweh Shai. It says he take up the wise in their own craftiness and, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. All right. Oh, Slakia. He disappointed the devices of the crafty 
so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right. It says they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as as in the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. So the poor have hope and iniquity stopping from mouth. Behold, happy is the man who the most high corrective. Therefore despise not thou the chastising of the almighty. For he maketh sore and bindeth up and woundeth and his hands and his hands make hold. All right. It says, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. And we're, we're headed into that seventh trump, man. All right. So this is talking about the elect. It says, in famine, he shall redeem them from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt hide from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it come. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in the lead with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thou tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thou habitation, and shalt not sin. Thou shalt know also that thou seed shall be great, and thou offspring as the grass of the earth. Thou shalt come to thou grave in a full age, like as a stock of corn cometh in a season. Lo, this we have searched it, so it is. Hear it and know thou it for thou good. So at the end of the day, hey, the Lord, the Lord is going to take your ass out, Esau. He's going to take you out. You know, um, you know, that's basically it. Uh, this is, um, you know, in the spirit. I didn't have planned up, you know, scriptures lined up. I just wanted to play this video and uh, read some scriptures, man. So I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to you. How about you? I was shy. All right. We at the end of time. Okay. Paul said it's high time to wake up out of sleep, you know, because what salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.